Okay, that's not where that goes, it's because I can't actually lift it. Um, I've tidied all along here and I've gone right back to the edges and I've hit that corner and I've sort of run out of steam. Um, now, I'm pretty sure that fence is secure enough for me to lean my steps against it. Because obviously I can't have steps on this ground, it's too uneven. But leaning steps will be okay, and that should enable me to trim that top edge back. I got as far as there, and I started getting tangled up in the wisteria, so I, gave, I, I thought that's enough for one day. I've still got to clear this lot up. But I've had a good sweep round, I've still got branches to cut up and the battery went, that's why it went dead on me. But it already looks a lot tidier and I've taken this bush right down. And the reason being that rose can get some light now and with some sunlight and everything, I think it'll grow quite nicely next year. And I've opened up the space for the fuchsia as well. There's other things amongst this fuchsia. That is a sycamore that needs to come out or that'll be 12 foot tall next year. Um, my oak trees I've left, I didn't weed those out. Um, yeah, so um, this is the problem. It's the clearing up bit, the bit I hate. And that's the bit Hannah likes. She likes doing the final tidy up and putting everything in bags and doing that final little sweep where the last few leaves are picked up. She loves doing all that, but unfortunately she's not here. And she's not here till the last month of the the last weekend of the month and I'm not leaving that there till then. So I will just have to plod away at that, much as I dislike that job intensely. Get it up into bags, get the bags out in the car and run it around the tip. And it's a free, you know, it's free. So Now this bush, this will need cutting back, but now that I know it blooms this time of year and the bees absolutely love this. So this is special, there's bees on there now. Yeah, so, and that's without any sun on it. Now that I know what this does, and I also know that this time of year it does this. So once this has finished blooming, this can be trimmed quite hard back so that next year it grows on and blooms again on that new wood. Because if you look, the blooms are all on the growing tips. So it blooms on the new wood that blooms on current year's growth. And then um, this Californian lilac has the lovely deep purple virtually blue blooms on. Um, I'm not going to do much with that. I'm going to let that spread out. It's quite a low growing spreading shrub and I'll just let that spread over that area. So, uh, so that's the plans and that variegated thing on the end of the bush with the blooms on that will go down below where I can see it so that this becomes the dominant bush in this area with the nice fresh green foliage and the nice blooms. So uh, yeah, that's the plans. And that session was tolerable, but um, I suspect I, my back will hurt tomorrow. So how much I'll be able to carry on with it tomorrow, I don't know. This next section here, there's not much of that evergreen to cut back there. It's mainly trying to get the wisteria out, um, which is, in theory, it's a matter of cutting it off at the hedge, grabbing hold of the thick bits and yank it, and it should all come down. <laughs> That's my theory anyway. And then when I get to this stage, there's obviously another load of that evergreen to deal with. So, uh, yeah. So that's where we are. That's session one, and um, I'm pleased with that. Very pleased. It's tidied it up a lot. I'll get the bird table and the bird bath back out in this corner so that they're still functioning. And um, I'll try and get this lot cleared up because we've got rain during the week and if it gets soaking wet, it'll be even more difficult to clear up. Now it's gonna be a sunny day tomorrow and I think the best thing tomorrow is to try and clear up what I've done so far because that's all the dead leaves and the dirt there won't be any more of that now it'll just be greenery so if i can get that all picked up tomorrow and bagged up and out of the way then i can crack on with the greenery not necessarily tomorrow i'm not in a rush to do this but i just fancied doing something today so there we go sorry the battery ran out i don't know where i haven't checked yet <laughs> but next time i film i'll have the big battery in which um, i mean that lasts three or four hours in total so uh, 
Yeah, yeah. Looks a bit spacious already despite the heap in the middle. If you can imagine it without the, the bushes everywhere and tidy, it's going to look quite spacious out here. The bench is not staying there. That's only there at the moment because I had some of my bonsai on it. The bench is going to go over there for sitting in the sun. That's where that's going to go. But I need somebody on the other end of that, so that'll have to stay till till I've got Hannah here. And then these bushes here are just a light trim. You know, just with, the, with my hand shears will do that quite nicely. I might do these with the pruners so that I can pick my spot so that they branch out and thicken up nicely rather than just hack at it. So uh, there we go, session one. It's a bit tidier already, isn't it? <sighs> it's hard work though, you know, it's, it's physical work which I'm not used to. And as I said, I suspect my back's gonna hurt tomorrow. But from now on, whatever the time is, about three o'clock in the afternoon, that's it for me for today now. I shall put the tools away and just basically relax. I've just poured myself a glass of wine and I poured some white wine, cold wine. I've got chicken for tea, so the white wine will go with that as well. I just fancied a cold drink. So there we go, stage one. Uh, that wasn't as bad as I was expecting, quite honestly. This, um, this gadget here is pretty good, but it does need the screws tightening up. There's quite a bit of loose stuff here that needs tightening up properly. Um, so I'll have to get my uh, adjustable spanner on there. This is a bit flexible, so it does give in a bit. And if you've got a wobbly branch, as you're sawing, the branch wobbles and the saw stays still, but it, it's usable. And the, this bit, this blade here, um, that you pull with the string and the pulley system moves that blade over there that is vicious that's cutting through branches that are well over a centimeter heading towards two centimeters quite effortlessly and quite high up so that's working well that's that's doing its job and then um, all these big pieces of wood I was going to use that because that's vicious as well that's saw we can see the blade um, I was going to cut those up so that they could go in the bag, but I think those long branches, the bigger bits like that, they can just go in the car as they are. I save the work, you know, and then just unload them when I get to the other end and chuck them in the, chuck them in the skip. Right, <laughs> just remember to bring my tripod in. <laughs> right, anyway, uh, I doubt if this is enjoyable, well it could be enjoyable watching somebody else working hard, but um, I know there's a lot of people are looking forward to this garden all tidied up, you know, and, and, and the, the bonsai on their proper benches and everything in its place. Um, and next year it can be kept tidy throughout the year by doing a little bit every now and again, rather than a major big deal like it is now. So uh, there we go, session one over and done with. Uh, where's that wine? <laughs>